All right, guys, Kazoo71 here. I want to show you guys a little bit more about this soul terminal. I did a short tutorial before on just how to use it as an obelisk. I want to show you guys a little bit more. So first off, let's start with what you need to craft it. Here it is right here in the inventory. You need 10 cementing paste, 50 metal ingots, 7 oil, and 9 polymer. Now, this is from the Dino Storage version 2 mod. Now, I recommend you need these as well for what I'm going to show you guys. So I would get these as well. These are the soul traps. Now, as far as Ingram-wise, these are learned at level 1. They don't cost you any Ingram points. Also, that soul gun I'm always using, people are always asking me about. Those are the three items I use all the time from Dino Storage version 2. Now, let's talk about this thing. This can be used multiple ways. All right, so we're going to show you guys this. Number one, here's the soul terminal. Um, you have some aesthetics you can do on this thing. If I hold down E, I can go to options, and I can change it to modern mesh, which looks like that can hold down E again, do the primitive mesh, which is a vault looking thing, and then back to the original one, right? So there's the three different ways it can look. You also can type on these guys. If you go to options, you have dynamic text. You can type, change the colors. You've got two lines of text. Whatever color you make, they'll show up on there. The best one is the uh, this other one here. And if you type on this, like let's just say it says keeping. I'll just show you guys this one real quick. And I'll put keeping... And you see it's showing these black letters up there. And if I change it to red, now I have red letters on it. So that's how that dynamic text works. Let me show you guys how to use this as an obelisk. You're going to hold down E. You're going to go to admin. And you're going to go to normal inventory. So you click this normal inventory. It's going to change the tribute inventory. And as you can see, now this thing is an obelisk. I have a tribute side. I have a creature side. And I have an arc data side. So anything I put in here. Now on single player, you have a max of 50 slots on an obelisk. Same with this. And then 20 creatures. So I can't put more than that in here, as you guys know. But if I wanted to upload a creature, I could upload a, a creature. Let's just put this Jaboa down real quick. Let me demonstrate for you guys. Throw this little boy down right here. And we're going to go to this. And we're going to go to creatures. And I'm going to find that Jaboa, which is right here. And we are going to click upload. So i got to click on him. I'm going to click the upload. And it's going to tell me, hey, you sure you want to do this? And bam, we do it. He's gone. So now he's in the obelisk. I can download him on the obelisk or anywhere else or on another map or whatever. But if I want to download him, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on him on the download. And we're going to, I'm in the upload. And we're going to upload. And then when we do that, he's going to appear in here. And this is really glitchy. There he is right there. He's right there. So I'm going to go ahead and pick him up. We don't want to leave them down there because I don't need that for the tutorial. So that is the, the terminal side. Now, if I use this thing as a terminal, I can also put items in here like I was telling you guys. And you can transfer this to other maps. So let's go ahead and I'm going to take these out. Um, as you can see, you got to click them one at a time to pull them out. I'm going to pull this suit out. So this is my save file and I don't want to do that. And you see it drop down on the 96. So if I wanted to add something else to it, I would just click it over here and then I would pop it in there. But it's saying maximum reached because I'm above the 50. I can't do it. Only 50 items at a time, right? So let's talk about the newborn trap. So um, let me pick this guy up. We don't need to leave that down. This one I have set as a newborn trap. Now, a couple of things you can do here. Um, let me show this first. We're going to go do options, and we're going to go to newborn trap. Now, in the newborn trap, you can enable newborn, and you can make it visible. You also have a range you can change. If you click this mating on, it will make every dino within the range start mating. If you turn the mating off, every dino in the range will stop mating. And if you hit abort gestation, anything that's already mated and they're gestating, it will abort it. So it's an abortion feature. Uh, yeah. Uh, a lot of people probably have a fit about that one. Anyway, let's put on visible and let's take a look at this thing real quick. Let me show you guys what it does. So it puts this little blue ring you can see out here. Um, it tells me where the range is. It's got a dome. So everything within that blue dome will be picked up. Any eggs hatched, any babies born will be picked up in this newborn trap. All right. So that's how the newborn trap works on this thing. So once again, hold down E, options, newborn trap. And that's where you pick that at, right? Make sure you have soul balls in here. If you don't have soul balls in here, it will not pick them up. Right, so you have to have some in here, and let me show you guys what I mean. I'm gonna go ahead and hatch a couple of eggs here. Let's just drop these couple of anklo eggs, and let's take a look. As soon as they hatch, they get picked up instantly. They get imprinted and picked up instantly. So as you can see, I had 
289 now i have 292 if you were looking and then there's those three anklos at the bottom so i've got three anklo babies already imprinted on and they're good to go so you don't have to worry about this the thing will imprint it now there's some more features to this that i don't want to discuss but uh i just want to show you guys the newborn trap and the obelisk portion and how to do the text on here but there is another part you can do let's kind of demonstrate this i will show you guys one more thing here where is my terminal uh i know i picked it up it was oh there it is let's put this bad boy down now another thing you can do with this is if you go in the inventory and in, in, in inventory and you don't have the uh turn to the tribute thing it's regular the regular one you can use as a storage or the newborn trap you can destroy souls in the terminal you can do admin soul recovery so if i go admin soul recovery there's there's several things in here there's if you export it you can export a dino to a save somewhere and then you can import it somewhere else i don't use those all i ever use is the local one the local one i'm just going to pick a dino let's just pick this trudon right here and i'm going to grab this trudon and then when i hit that button it's going to give me that trudon so if i take this out of the inventory i'm going to show you guys i have the trudon now so I may have this Trudon on the map already, but any dino that I've ever put in a soul ball on this map, I can recover with the soul recovery, right? So let's go ahead and take this guy and pick him up. And I want to show you guys one more feature on here. And then if I go back into the inventory and I'm going to put this Trudon back in here because I'm not going to cheat and keep an extra one. Now this other button here says destroy all souls in the terminal. This will destroy all souls in this terminal and this terminal only. So when I click that button, uh, it's going to give me an option. I'm going to say yes, and it's going to destroy it, and I'm going to get a soul ball back. So that's how the destroy and the local part works on this thing. You also have an advanced search. No dino souls in there. So if you want to search, if you have a dino in here, you can do that. Um, let's just see if do that real quick. Oh, put him in there. Um, what did I do? Oh, I hit that. put a dino in there. Let's do advanced search. And then it gives you an advanced search so you can type for different things. You could search for different dinos in here. You could also search for them right here. But if you want to do the advanced search, it gives it a little bit more options. So, But that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you use this terminal. It's not a very complicated thing to do. There's also a couple of other options that I didn't talk about, like the automation part. You can tell it what you want it to pick up. Egg collection, um, poop, poop generation. Um, you can make it generate poop. I don't know how that works, but I've never done that part um iguanodon seed fruit you can make them uh seed the fruit you can get a wool from sheep it'll automatically harvest it i think and then you got poop slot gener allocation so how much human poop you want it to pick up how much small poop that kind of stuff it's really pretty cool um distribution allocations it'll distribute for you so if it picks up stuff it can distribute it to the gotchas and you can tell it how many per gotcha which is pretty cool that's a pretty cool option this thing does as well with the automation so if you play with that automation that thing will do it the private soul transfers you can click that so no one else can mess with it and then the i don't know what this one does i've tried it multiple times it doesn't do anything all right so but there's your there's your soul terminal that's pretty much it guys there's not a ton to it i just wanted to show you guys a newborn trap once again and i wanted to show you guys the obelisk part of it because someone made a comment that my tutorial didn't cover much well whatever i covered what i needed to cover so i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like the video please subscribe if you haven't done so any comments are appreciated whether they be nice or rude i don't mind so thanks for watching guys and i will see you next time